like this, if you have started looking at prices, reaching out to vendors, they give you a quote and you're like, what? <laughs> um, you weren't expecting it. So <laughs> if that's happened to you, just say yes or me or something. Um, Cause it, it happens a lot. And honestly, ladies, I'm going to just throw this out there, not to shock you, but to tell you what you need to expect. And the average cost for a wedding in Texas is $25,000. And the average cost for wedding in the U S on average in total is $35,000. And that's a lot. It's a lot. And so, there's really two options for you. One, you know, you can do this on your own. Maybe you are super confident and you're like, yes, I love budget and you're really good at negotiating. Yeah, everything is $5,000. Yep, totally feel you there. Um, oh, I just lost my train of thought. Oh, this happened so much. <laughs> Y'all need to stop commenting. No, no, I'm just kidding. Please, please keep commenting. Um, <laughs> But anyway, and so, yeah, two options. Oh, okay, if you're feeling really confident about your budget and you're really good at negotiating and making deals and you know where to find these vendors that are in your price range, then that is awesome. Like, you go, girl. But if you don't know and if you're like, okay, I want a DJ, but I don't want to spend 2000 bucks for him, well, that's when having someone here at your side, having a wedding planner would really, really help because they know the connection, they know who's in your budget, and then you don't have to stress about it. And also, one thing that this bride said that I met, who I met up with today, she was like, Chelsea, I am just really budget conscious, and my parents are paying for this wedding, and I want to make sure that their money goes to a good place. Yes. I totally feel you there. And it is not about, it is about the price, but more than the price, it's about the value. You want to find vendors who you know, yes, like I am 100% confident. I do not have that buyer's remorse. I don't regret making my decision. And you want to find those people who are perfect for you. And you want to know the why. It's like, okay, that's great if you find a DJ who's in your budget, but you want to know why do you want a DJ? Why do you want this photographer? Why do you want this officiant? Why are they the best for you? Why are they the best for your budget and your perfect day? And so those are just some questions that you need to ask yourself and you need to really understand as you're planning your wedding because it's going to help you stay in your budget. It's going to allow you to see the true value of what you're spending because that's where the gold is. You don't want to just go through your vendor check like or your vendors like a checklist. Say, yep, got a photographer, yep, got a DJ, yep, got a videographer. You want to be like, hey, I found this amazing photographer who has the style that I'm looking for. And whenever I see her pictures, I'm like, oh my gosh, just heart eyes everywhere. Um, and and you want that to be, you know, for all of your vendors, and you might necessarily not, you know, be that kind of girl that has heart eyes and goes, ah, you know, <laughs> I am, just some disclosure there. Um, but I want you to still have that confidence and to know the value and to be, just have peace of mind about it. And so if, <laughs> if y'all are struggling with finding vendors that are not $5,000 each, then just reach out to me. I would love to help you. And when I was meeting up with this bride today, I was just thinking, oh, this vendor would be perfect for her. This one would be perfect. And that was actually in her budget. And so that's what I'm here for, y'all. I am here to help you to take that stress away, to relieve that overwhelm, and just help you piece together this wedding in the budget that you're comfortable with. So just wanted to give you guys a little Saturday tip um, and encouragement. I hope this was helpful to you and I will see you guys on the next live video. Bye.